Hi, welcome to my channel Ruby Net Crochet y Tejidos and to the second part of this beautiful swimming suit cover up. It's very easy to do. It's all done a crochet. I hope you guys like it and give it a try. And here is the list of material you're going to need to make it. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and click the little bell. That way you get notification each time I upload a video. Remember, I make my videos in Spanish and English. So if you receive a Spanish video and you want to see in English, go to the main page of my YouTube channel that you'll find the English version in there. This set is a large size set, but it can be adjusted to a smaller size or a bigger size as you want to do this for yourself, friends, family, or just to sell. To make this two-piece beginner cover-up, I'm going to use this Premier Cotton Fair 52% cotton, 48% acrylic, fine two, 100 grams, 290 meters each. Uh, they uh, recommend a 4 millimeter crochet hook. I have two, a 3 millimeter and a 3.5 millimeter hook. The color of this one is bright pink, this one is white, and this one is We're going to start our squares for the lower part, and you're going to make four of them. And you're going to make a full one and then attach the other ones as you work. We're going to start with the center and we're going to do the flower um, motif like the top. And then you will change it to a square and then you continue with the square. So what you can do to make things faster and easier is you work in these two row, cut the yarn, do the two row around for the next square and so on until you have four of these and then when you work with the white you do all the row of white around and then uh, the other piece only in the last round is when you are gonna finish the first one and then attach the other one as you go that way you do them all at the same time but if you want you can do a full one and then work in the next one and the next one and the next one for me it's easier to do uh, the pieces as I went so only this one that I'm going to do now is the one that I'm going to do without uh, having any uh, piece done yet because I want to record and show you how you're going to do that. So for the round part in here, for the flower, I work with my 3 millimeter. The rest I did with the 3.5. This is from a medium to a large size. So if you want these a little bit bigger, you can work the entire piece with the 3.5 millimeter or you can work this center with the 3.5 and the rest with the 4 millimeter automatically it will be a little bit bigger. If you want this uh, a little bit smaller you can do the whole thing with the 3 millimeter. Okay. So now we're going to start with the center. Of we're going to start with the magic circle and we're going to chain one and we're going to work 16 single crochet. Remember when you're working the magic circle you only have to work your stitches and top of the two strand of the circle and the tail in order to work. So when you have your 16 single crochet I will meet you here. Now we're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four, yarn over twice. You're going to go to the same space where you did that slip stitch. You're going to pass your hook through. And now we're going to work in every single loop because we're going to do an elongated treble crochet. So you're going to pass it through the first one and then two and two, but you're going to leave those two in here. You don't want to finish. Yarn over twice, you go to the next single crochet and you pass through the first loop and then two and two and now you close those three. You're gonna chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yarn over twice. 
you go to the next single crochet you pass your hook through you pass through the first loop and then two and two and you don't want to finish you are over twice you go to the same single crochet you pass through the first loop two two you don't want to finish because you need three of these elongated treble crochet yarn over twice and go to the next one pass it through one two and two you're gonna pass it through and now we're gonna do seven chains one two three four five six and seven yarn over twice you're gonna go to the next single crochet and you're gonna pass your hook through you pass through the first loop and then two and two and you don't want to finish yarn over twice go to the same space of that single crochet and you pass it through the first loop two and two and you don't want to finish because you need three yarn over twice go to the next single crochet and you pass it through one two and two now you're going to close those loops you're going to chain seven one two three four five six and seven and you're going to continue with that repetition and you're going to end up with eight of these petals I'm gonna finish with a slip stitch on the first chain. Now I'm gonna change crochet hook to the 3.5 and I'm gonna do slip stitch until the center here. And this is gonna be one of the corners. And we're gonna chain four as a I don't get a treble crochet plus three chains for separation at the point at the corner. One, two, three, four, plus three, seven, five, six, and seven. And you're always going to start the same with those seven chains. Yarn over twice, 
three treble crochet this time you're gonna do them elongated so yarn over twice you pass it through one loop through two and two and two yarn over twice through one two two and two you have three you're gonna chain five one two three four and five yarn over twice you go to the next chain seven space and you're gonna do three elongated treble crochet one, two, and three. One, two, three, four, and five. Yarn over twice. And this is one of the corner. Three elongated double crochet. Chain three and three along the treble crochet. Remember, they're treble crochet all the. If I say double crochet, I meant along the trebles. That is that is a mou mouthful for <laughs> my Spanish language. So three, one, two, and three chains. Three along the treble crochet. And three, you're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And you're gonna do your three elongated treble crochet. And that's the repetition that you're gonna do. You're gonna have four corners and four or three groups of three elongated double crochet all the way around. So it's very easy to follow, always with the chain of. Five, you're gonna have you see you're gonna finish here the last corner and I will be like that.
I'm gonna finish here in the same space where I did the slip stitches. I'm gonna do two, two elongated treble, one and two, and I'm gonna finish with a slip stitch on the fourth chain. One, two, three, and the fourth chain is slip stitch. You're gonna chain one, cut the yarn, lose the tails, and then you done the part. Now we're gonna work in the next one is done with the white, except that you have an extra space of elongated triple crochet and instead of one, you have two. Everything stays the same, the chain five, the corners and top of corners, everything the same. After that, you will chain one, cut the yarn, lose the tail, and you will do another round with the same color as this one and here. Everything stays exactly the same, as that you have three of those space of elongated treble crochet. After that, we'll work with the pink and that change the stitch all the way around and instead of elongated treble crochet, we're gonna do chain spaces. Now we're gonna work on the third. The same way that we wanna one. work with this white, we're gonna do another round of this. You're gonna start with a slip knot. You're gonna come here to one of this corner and you're gonna chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And you're over twice, you're gonna do three. I don't get a triple crochet. And then you will chain five. You're gonna do a group of three, chain five, another group of three, chain five, a corner, and like that is how you're gonna continue. Always with the chain of five and working the stitches how you're supposed to. You see? Now in this space of chain five, you're gonna do a group of three. And now you'll chain five and the same another group of three, chain five, a corner exactly the same as the row before, and so on until you get to the end. You're gonna do a slip stitch on the fourth chain, cut the yarn, lose the tail, and do the same with the next color. After that, we'll work the next three round with one of the pink and two of the white.
now we're gonna work in this piece it will look like that once you finish with those now with the pink we're gonna change the stitches and the spaces in here the corner stay exactly the same you're gonna start with a chain of seven do your three elongated treble crochet in the corner to start with and then the stitch will change one two three four five six and seven and the three longer crochet mm -hmm. says it's in, in there and the bend date is start to <laughs> fall off have a little cut So now, and instead of chaining five, you're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And in this chain five space, you're going to do a single crochet. And that's the difference between this round and the other three rounds that we want to work. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And single crochet in here. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and seven, and single crochet in here. Like that, you're gonna continue working all the way around. You're gonna work until here. You're gonna do the corner exactly the same. The corners stay the same. And when you finish with the pink, you're gonna finish exactly the same as you done before. You're gonna cut the yarn, lose the tail, and then we're gonna do two round with the white. For the first square, you're gonna do the entire thing the same. Uh, finish the square, lose the tail, and then in the second one, when you start attaching one to the next one. And it will be like this. I have already three attached in here. And when you attach them, you see, it will look like that. And then the next one. And then when you're going to attach the last one is where you attach them in two places. You're going to attach them in here and in this one to create like a circle. So do the completed square. And we'll be working the other ones as you attach them. And then I will show you how to touch the last one as well. You finish with a slip stitch in the first row of white. You're gonna do one slip stitch in the first chain and a slip stitch in the center. You'll chain seven and you'll work the next round exactly the same as this round before. You'll finish with a slip stitch on the fourth chain, cut the yarn, lose the tail, and you have done your first square. After that, you have to work in the next square and attach two of them together. Once you're ready to attach your first square to the next one, you see, and here I start the square at this, this side. Now in this corner, I'm going to attach to the next one. I already had two together in this one. So straight up, I'm going to attach the next one, and this is the right side going up, right size up. Once you do your three elongated treble crochet, you're going to chain one. You're going to go to this corner and here you're going to do a single crochet. You're going to chain one, yarn over twice, and in this space you're going to do three elongated double crochet. One. Two and three you're gonna chain three and instead of seven one two and three you're gonna come here to the first chain seven space and do a single crochet that will be like chain four and then you do three more and that will be seven you go to the space here of uh, chain seven and do a single crochet one two and three go to the next space a chain seven single crochet 
one, two, and three. Do the chain space a uh, seven single crochet. And like that, you're gonna continue working, chaining three and single crochet until you get to the other end. Let me see. You're gonna get here once you do your uh, three chains and you will do your um, three elongated double crochet, chain one single crochet, chain one three elongated double crochet and then you will work and here all the way around you finish here with a slip stitch on the fourth chain, chain one, cut the yarn, lose the tail and work on the other square. So when it's time to attach number four I will show you how to attach that one because you have to attach that one in two Once you finish stitches. the last one that you're going to work in the last row and you have three of these together you're going to come here to one of the corners and right from the beginning we're going to start attaching these two so we're going to start a little bit different now we're going to start this one with only four chain one, two, three and four and we're going to do an elongated double crochet We're going to chain one, we're going to do a single crochet in this corner, chain one, and now you're going to do three elongated treble crochet. At the end you will finish with only one elongated double crochet and a slip stitch on the fourth chain. So we start a little bit different in order to attach this corner together. Now you will continue working exactly the same as you did the other two pieces together. You will chain three, single crochet in the chain seven space, chain three, single crochet in the chain seven space, one, two, and three. single crochet in the chain 7 space 1, 2 and 3 and single crochet in the chain 7 space like that, like that you're going to continue working exactly the same as you attach the other two you'll come to the corner you will do your corner you continue working the chain 7 space until you get to this one here and then we're going to attach this one to the other side and then I will meet you here I finished this part. 
Now what you're gonna do, this the, is the inside of that square, and this one is the outside of this one. You're gonna bring the other one, the other end, and top to create a circle like this. These are the inside with the inside and outside out. And I already did my three elongated double crochet. In this corner, I'm gonna chain one. I'm gonna come to this corner and I'm gonna do a single crochet. Chain one, and I will continue exactly the same as I attach the other side and this one with my three elongated double crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, and so on until I get to this corner. Once you finish this corner, that you do the in this corner, you're gonna do your three elongated treble crochet, chain seven, single crochet, chain seven, single crochet, and then at the end, you're gonna finish with an elongated treble crochet and do a slip stitch on the fourth chain. In the same space where you finish the slip stitch, you're gonna chain one and you're gonna do a single crochet in the same space. Now you're gonna chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And you're gonna come to the center along the double crochet and you're gonna do a single crochet. And now you everything that you're gonna do is seven chains. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and seven, single crochet, and then chain seven space. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, single crochet, and the chain seven a space. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and single crochet. And here, and at that you're gonna continue. all the way around and you're gonna finish and here with the slip stitch and the first uh, single crochet when you get to these two you will do your single crochet again in the center elongated double crochet You will chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and and again you will do a single crochet and top of this elongated treble crochet. I finished with a slip stitch in the first single crochet. Now I'm gonna do a slip stitch until I get to the center chain. And the next chain seven space one two three and number four because number four is the half of those seven you're going to chain one and in the same space you're going to do a single crochet now you're going to do chains of five one two three four and five and a single crochet in the next chain seven space one two three four and five single crochet and then a chain seven a space one two three four and five and single crochet and the next chain seven space and like that you're going to continue working all the way around until you finish with a slip stitch in the first single i finish with a slip stitch and once again we're gonna do one two three slip stitch chain one single crochet in the same space and again one two three four and five single crochet one two three four and five single crochet and you're gonna finish with a slip stitch in the first single crochet. in the same space where you finish the slip stitch you're gonna chain one and you're gonna do a single crochet in the same space now you're gonna chain seven one two three four five six and seven and you're gonna come to the center along the double crochet and you're gonna do a single crochet 
and now you everything that I'm gonna do is seven chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Single crochet and the chain seven space. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Single crochet and the chain seven a space. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And single crochet. And here. And like that, you're going to continue all the way around, and you're going to finish. And here with the slip stitch and the first uh, single. Once you finish with the slip stitch, you're going to do a slip stitch to the next space, or chain five, you're going to chain three, and now you're going to do six double crochet in. Each space of five chains, so that counts as the first one. Two, three, four, and five. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Go to the next chain five. And do six double crochet one, two, three, four, five, and six, and jump to the next chain five space and do your six double crochet. And I think I will have to use the second ball of white that I have. Because with one don't gonna be enough for the entire project. So I'm glad I bought two whites for this. Five and six. And like that, you're gonna continue all the way around. I'm gonna finish with a slip stitch on the third chain. I'm gonna do two more slip stitch until you are in the third double crochet. Count to the chain three as the first one. You're gonna chain three. You're going to do a double crochet in the next double crochet. You're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Yarn over. You're going to skip four double crochet. And the fifth, you're going to do a double crochet. And in the next one, a double crochet. You're going to chain three. Yarn over. You're going to skip four double crochet. And the fifth, now number five, you're going to do a double crochet and one in the next one. And five and six. One and two and three chains. And two double crochet. And the two center double crochet from the row before. Okay. And we are decreasing the chain space on each of these. That way it's a little narrower. Like that, you're going to continue all the way around. And I'm going to finish with the slip stitch on the third chain. And I'm still working. With the first ball of yarn of white, I'm gonna chain three, a double crochet in the next double crochet, and in the chain three, you're gonna do three double crochet. So inside each chain, you're gonna do a double crochet. A double crochet on top of each double crochet. And a double crochet on each chain space. I go inside that way you have a better finish. Inside each chain. And double crochet and top of each double crochet, and like that, you're gonna work this last round, and through this round is where we're gonna pass the icon.
Now for the lower part, I'm going to start with the slip knot. And I'm going to pass the hook through the center treble crochet. And I'm going to pass the loop. Oops. <laughs> And I'm going to chain one. And in the same space, we're going to do a single crochet, exactly the same as we start this part. You're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You're going to come to the center treble crochet of these three, and you're going to do single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and in this space you're going to do a single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Single crochet. Like that, you're going to continue exactly the same as you did the top part with this row around of seven chain. I decided that I will do a couple more round of this, but this time I don't want to change to uh, five chains because if you change to five chains, this will get narrowed. I change in the top, that way it's a little narrow around the waist, but in this part I will continue with the seven chain space uh, all the way around for in this row and two more. Now you're going to do a slip stitch until the center, one, two, three, and four, chain one, a single crochet in the same space, and we'll be right in the center there, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, single crochet in the chain seven space, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and single crochet in the chain seven space. Like that, you're going to continue this round and the next round, okay? And then I will meet you here. Exactly the same. You're gonna do this is the length that I'm going to leave for mine. I chain one, I'm going to cut the yarn, lose all the tails. If you want this longer, you can do more round, exactly the same. The length is up to you. For my son, I'm going to do fringes. First, I'm going to do an eye core. I don't going to do the video or any clip here how to do an eye core because I already did in the first part of the top of this piece. I did an eye core. I will do exactly the same, just long enough to go around my waist. Or you simply do a chain and you will pass it through the first row in here. And you will try it on and then that way it's easier for you to measure the length of the fringes that you want for yours. I will do that. I will meet you here to show you how we're going to so do So I fringes. decided anyway to place here the clip from the first part of the top where I did that eye cord to tie the back just in case if you don't see that uh, video and you never done an eye cord you can do the eye cord for this piece without going to the other video. Um, and this one I will do as well with a 3 millimeter crochet hook. Now we're going to start the eye core for the back. You're going to start with a slip knot. We need to create a base for the eye core. So you're going to chain 3, 1, 2, and 3. And you see you have the first loop already. So you go to the second chain and pull out a second loop. And you go to the first chain and pull out the third loop. You pull a little bit, you take the two loops out, pass it through the first one, through the second one, and now the third one. And now you have the base of your eye cord. Pull out a little bit, go to the first one. The second and third. And this is a little flat, but it will 
<laughs> be round, don't worry. It's just the beginning because you're holding it flat. So I'll pass through the first one, the second one, and the third one. And like that, you'll continue working. You see, it will go round. As long as you want, you're going to have, you know, to give it the lanes that you want. I will place them on each one of these space. And the eye core, I didn't measure because each one of you will make the eye core to your size, it giving a little extra length for a bow in the front. And you're going to do the fringes. This one, I will measure this, it's folded in half. Let me make sure that everything is even here. I cut them the same length. Just a sec, let me. There we go. I fold it in half. You see, it's folded in half in here. And I measure. The fringes are optional. I measure 22 centim uh, inches and 22 inches is 56 centimeter. So that will be like 120 centimeter of each strand of yarn. 44 inches. If you want to do fringes, you do the fringes. You can do it shorter, you can do longer. It's up to you. I still have these. I did another little project with some of these. And this of the second bowl so I have enough for all the fringes. If you don't want to do fringes you can do a border of double crochet all the way around and that will be fine as well if you don't want to use your yarn doing fringes. So I'm gonna come here and with a crochet hook I'm gonna pass it through the loop pull it through and voila. And like that, I'm gonna do all the fringes all the way around my piece. I will do that and I will show you that. Well, this is the end result of the set and it looks absolutely gorgeous. And the length with the fringes is all the way down to your uncle. So this and the mannequin is a little bit too big because it's a size 
large and the mannequin is from a small to a medium size so when I try it on this is perfect for my size because you can see the square like that and the flower so if you're making this for a small or medium size I recommend to remove this row of this color and that one so you will do the flower row of white a row of pink and two round of white and the squares will be much smaller perfect for a smaller size person So I hope you guys like it and give it a try and a thumb, thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber and if you make this gorgeous set and you want to send me some pictures you can do it through my Facebook page Ruby Nets Crochet y Tejido or my Instagram Ruby Net Crochet y Tejidos. Please share my videos with friends and family that way you help me grow here in YouTube. I wish you have a beautiful day. Bye.